Ready? Okay, hello. Welcome to my beginner's class. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, let's get started sitting down. For a minute, and I'm going to talk about breathing. This helps get the body ready um, for the stretches. So you want to close your eyes and put your hands either facing forward or on your knees. And just take a couple of deep breaths in through your nose and out of your uh, nose. Uh, this is very important because it opens up your lungs, your chest, and it helps you get a greater stretch. It helps also if in the, any of the stress stretches are too painful or you know difficult, you know. Because sometimes, like the first one we're gonna do, give your hands out. Um, so breathing is a good way to relieve pain, stress. It's also a type of meditation that we're doing here. You can lay down on a, your back or you can sit like here, uh, sit like this, and you can meditate that way too. It's good to start out with yoga lessons, um, with meditation a little bit, uh, uh, warming up your body. Um, so yes. So let's sit here for a couple minutes and breathe. Let's do two more breaths here and then we go into a first pose. Okay, so for the, our first pose, we're going to be standing up. Uh, the pose we're going to do is called the mountain. So you want to start either with legs together or hips apart whichever you like, and then you, you want to bend your knees a little bit, you want to fill all your toes and your feet grounding into the floor, and then you reach your hands out as far as you can, and like relax your shoulders a little bit, make sure it's not too tight, and this pose is good for overall stretch, and helps with the legs, the abs, the arms, the shoulders. Uh, so if you have been sitting down for a long time, you can use this anytime, you know, when you get home in the morning to kind of just relax your back and just, you know, if you have back pain that day, it helps. And I do yoga in the morning and at night, so if I had any, like, sitting for a long time or setting up for a long time or any pain um, in my back, uh, it's a really good reliever to do it both in the morning and at night. Uh, yes. So here you can feel your sores are probably burning. And this is where the breathing comes in because it helps stretch you like your chest and abs. It helps opening up your chest. It helps with the, you know, the burning you feel. <laughs> and so Let's do this for about 10 more seconds, and then we'll go to the next pose. You guys are doing good. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. So let's transition into the next pose. This is warrior one. Let me just look at these sides. And so you want to turn this way. You want one foot in front of the other. Um, one foot straight and the other one um, facing to the window. And you want to bend the front, uh, front knee. And now if you need a um, greater stretch, you can open up the stance. If that's too much for you, you feel the burning uh, is too much, you can start on it. But um, you want to keep your knee over uh, the ankle. You don't want to go too far forward, so keep it pretty um, in place right there. And then we want to hold our, turn our bodies this way, facing forward, and hold our hands up, reaching towards the ceiling. This is a good over body stress. Uh, it stresses throughout the ankles to the hands. It helps with 
your car, uh, engaging your car in this pose. So this will also help with balancing because it's engaging your car. Any uh, like this, any poses like this will help with balancing moves because you really need that uh, car engaged in those. So you guys are doing really good. Uh, you want to make sure your shoulders are relaxed in this one also. So you can shake it out a little bit if you need to. <laughs> and yeah. So there are three uh, types of, I have a couple types of warrior poses. This is the first one, there's a second one, uh, and a third one, which uh, deals with different parts of the back. Uh, the first one, as you can see here, you're stretching. The second one, you're kind of turning your back this way. Um, and we only got to do the first and second one. The third one is more of a balancing pose. Um, and there's one called the reverse uh, one, where you go back like this. But right now, we're just going to focus on the first one and the second one. It's the easiest for the beginners. And let's go ahead and do the second one. So when we... We can start from here, and what you want to do is turn your body, make sure your toe is still facing forward this way, and you want to um, put your hands parallel, so not up sideways, yeah. And you want to reach through the fingers here, make sure your shoulders are kind of loose, yes. And bend your knees also. So the uh, back, the spine moves forward and backwards. Uh, it's just side to side um, and pivots. So it it moves in three directions. <laughs> yeah, this gives a really good burn. <laughs> yeah, very good burn. So yeah, breathe in <laughs> and breathe out. Uh, and keep your mind on the breath. It also helps with uh, the pain you're feeling with the, <laughs> the shoulders and the arms. Okay. So the next one we're going to do is the cat stretch. And I know you have to do uh, the child pose. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can just, you know, stand right here. Um, while they're doing that, and the coast, okay, the cat pose is you get on your hands and knees, and you arch your back. Um, you want to bring your pet, like your tailbone in, your the head kind of pushing towards your uh, thighs. I think I'm doing this right. Am I doing this right? So tailbone in as much as you can, okay, and then yeah, 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 okay. And yeah. so child's pose is good for relieving stress if you need a rest, uh, or if you can't do other moves like Miss Justin is doing here. And the cat stress, uh, normally you do cat and cow. But the cat, uh, the the cat stretch is good for um, stretching out the back bones. Um, it relieves air inside the back bones. It's also a good um, stretch if you've been working all day or you just want to do it in the morning. Uh, both of these are really good for waking up. It gives you energy. It helps with um, any back pain, feet pain, anything that will come up during the day. Um, when you work, either sitting down or standing up, the gravity is pressing down on your backbone and is squishing it down. And so at the end of the day, after all that gravity is pressing down your backbone, you get back pain, feet pain leg pain, overall pain, and this will just help relieve this. Okay. So the next one is Cobra. It's another floor, floor position. Okay. 
<laughs> um, where you kind of want to start in hands and knees, and you kind of want to work your way down. <laughs> Sorry, um, to the floor, and then once and keep your legs kind of flat to the ground. And what you want to do is to press up, pull the back, uh, shoulders back, and look up to the sky. You want to open up the chest like a cobra because when they are um, uh, threatened, they will open up their chest. So, pull your shoulders back. Okay. <laughs> pull your shoulders back a little bit. Open up your chest. There you go. And this helps opening up your chest. Uh, when you're breathing in this position, it helps uh, engage your lungs more. It uh, opens up the chest and the rib cage so you can breathe more here. And it's very good here to be breathing in really deeply and letting go. We have another one where after a while it starts to burn. Um, it's engaging the thighs. Uh, the calves, the butt, the abs, and opening up the chest, which is wonderful. And it also helping the back uh, and stretching out the back as well. Oops. Um, yeah, so this is a good one to do if you have activities. So let's say you do track and field, or you do you know, weightlifting, you know, it's always good to stress before you work out, anything you do, biking, pretty much any activity. And also if you do weightlifting, this is another good um, thing to do if you have a day off or you can't go to the gym uh, because this actually uses your body weight to um, kind of build the muscles and also it helps stresses out everything and build muscles so it's a good thing to do on any day um definitely if you work out so the next pose you're going to do is uh, the triangle so it's a standing up pose yes yeah. relax mom yeah <laughs> i'm burning shake it off just shake it off yeah, yeah shake it off a little bit just my arm yeah if you need to do that so great if you want you can shake your body out too if you feel like you're tense a couple minutes yeah, yeah that feels better yeah <laughs> definitely after uh cobra okay so this one is kind of a kind of balancing move because normally your feet aren't in the position so what you want to do both toes facing forward and you want to kind of bend down to the ground if you can and you can, <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll stay in out your arms with the shoulder back. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. And this is activating uh, the core. It's a, kind of like a balancing move. Um, and it activates the core, helps. Uh, stretch the legs, opens up the chest, it rotates the back uh, and the shoulders, so it um, opens up your chest. And this is uh, a nice overall body stress. Um, and sometimes when you get into this, you might hear your back popping because you're kind of stretching and uh, releasing uh, air out of your back bones. Uh, that might be it, uh, in there. So it's like a twisting motion. So any twisting pose will help with the back. If you have, if you feel like you need to pop your back, this will help. Uh, so let's go to child's pose after this one. <laughs> um, this is kind of like a resting pose. So you can... Either go out with hands straight forward, you, and if you can get your head to the ground, you can do a little like pillow with your hands. Or to open up your chest more, you can um, put your hands behind and put your head down. And if you can put your head down, this will help 
Give you a couple more inches. Put your head on the floor. Do I need my this? Is it behind? Oh, no, behind, like, like this. <laughs> like behind. Oh, behind. Yeah, behind. yeah, yeah. idiot. <laughs> Put on the ground. You can do that, too. Um, and this is just a relaxation pose. It will help if you have any, like, pain. Um, if you have any stress, you can do this when you get home. It's a good thing to do at any time of the day when you have free time. Uh, because it relieves stress, uh, relaxes the body, the muscles. Uh, definitely in yoga, you need to put this in your class and retreat, like at least four or five or less uh, poses. Because after a while, your body is really tired and you are very sore. And this kind of helps kind of get the body back into um their legs taste so i like this pose yes it's very comfortable um it actually makes it believes pain because in this pose it um kind of makes you um it's kind of like a meditation pose uh you can do this way too if you need um to relax your back you need to lay down on the bed or you can do this and it um, kind of relieves stress. You stop thinking about the day at work, or you stop thinking about things that went on around you that day. It also relieves hormones that help release stress. And so this is a wonderful pose to do. Okay, so let's uh, roll over on our back. And we're going to do a pose called the fridge. And what you want to do here is lay, start laying on your back, take the knees up, and then place your hands on either side. And you will push uh, your pelvis up to the sky. Uh, you want to engage the uh, legs and kind of push them towards each other. Uh, And uh, this is good for uh, the thighs, the butt. Can I put my hands under my back, or is that like a no-go? Um, you, you can. Just because, like, I feel like my butt's about to fall to the floor. <laughs> my pelvic. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, if you, you need, helps you balance. Yeah, it helps you balance. You also can kind of press up with your hands if you need. Um, is that okay? Yeah. That's fine. Uh, this um, helps with building abs in your legs, and it is a really good stretch to do. Uh, I do this in the morning and at night also. Um, definitely, if you're doing a total body work uh, yoga session, this is one you want to put in because it helps um, with the abs, the legs. Um, in the back as well. And this is a very, and if you need to like put your butt down and like restart, that's fine. Because I know after a while, it like, really burns. And so you can relax for a minute as well and do it again. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, um, like some people can do it for hours, but I know most cats, so. You look like you could probably do it for an hour. I can do it for like three, four minutes, I don't know. <laughs> oh, so yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It does, yeah. Yeah. It yeah, it's kind of... I give you move. props for get, can you, even lasting that long, girl. Yeah. Um, you, this is a, a good move, um, to practice, um, because it's kind of engaging the core. It's another one if you're doing any tougher balancing poses. It uh, helps you building the legs and the core. So you can um, encase them. I feel like I'm on the yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a butt yeah, on this. Wait, like the butt and the abs. Um, glutes. Yeah, my legs. Glutes. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's start. Uh, we can release this pose and let's start with some more like lighter stretches. We are the good thing before you end the class to do these stretches because uh, after a while your legs <laughs> and everything start to you know hurt and be sore. So you want to lay down with your hands on the ground and then you want to bring them into your chest. And yeah, just pull them in uh, your chest. And this is another good relieving pose. Um, like if you can put these in between your, uh, your yoga class too. It's kind of like the child pose in a way that you can just lay down, relax your muscles, and relax your body a little bit to relieve any stress or pain uh, or soreness you have. It's a good thing to do in the morning also because you can do this in your bed. So you can just, if you wake up, you can do this. Um, just to uh, get your morning started. And the next thing I'm going to uh, have you do is put one of the legs down, like the left one, and hold the right knee to your chest. This helps um, stretch the glutes and the leg and it's just a really good stretch 